All right, let's talk about a guy who I was interested in seeing today, seeing if he would get playing time, and he did. He got a decent amount of playing time, and it's Zamir White. So Zamir White was sort of a later round uh, draft pick, a running back pick, which many people felt like, why are you drafting a running back? You have halfbacks. But I think they like what he can do, and makes sense. Like, I like what he can do. He can do a lot of interesting stuff. So let's get into the preseason tape, see what we saw uh, from him, uh, the good and the bad. And we'll start off with a play like this, where it's going to be a well-blocked play, by the Raiders, and you know that's exciting that they had some solid run blocking in here. Where what's going to happen is really the main block you're going to want to take a look at is the center and right guard. The way it works is it starts off with a double team on an interior defensive lineman, but then someone gets off that double team goes up to block a linebacker. That's what's going to happen here. And as you see, right when this play begins, there is a handoff to White, and you see how they are doing a great job, and the linebacker is actually kind of helping them out by running in the wrong direction. So. With this spot here, this is well blocked. I mean, look around. You can clearly see that there is a window where White can run through. So the one guy who looks like nobody's blocking him, there actually is still a Raider getting over to block him. So everyone's accounted for, well blocked. So good stuff from White. But now it's one White, or excuse me, not good stuff from White, good stuff from the Raiders without White having to do anything. But now is when White can do stuff. Now is when you want White to be able to do stuff. And as you see, watch him really be able to accelerate by everybody and pick up a big gain there. Again, it was well blocked, but he also did his part. And that's just what you need a running back to do. I think, you know, some people think that a running back does the entirety of the running play. That's not how it works. But also, I think some people act like the offensive line does the entirety of the running play. That's not how it works either. It's always a combination and the running back does have to do their job. White did there. Now, this sequence was interesting to me. So, First, it's a third down and one, and it's really, it's that Jaguars player who's going to come in and try and tackle White. White is going to be the halfback right here, so third and one. Just need a yard. You're kind of in no man's land, so maybe you'll go for it on fourth, but you, you don't want to have to risk that. Just get the first down here. However, as you see, the Jaguars player I circled did a great job of breaking in, runs over, and tackles White. Could you argue that maybe White could have been able to absorb that contact and like say, hey, like listen, that's not a big guy who's bringing you down. Maybe you can find a way to still get over and get the first. I suppose you could argue that. But what I find interesting about it is, you know, again, maybe you could argue he should have gotten to his spot a little quicker. Uh, to me, probably I wouldn't argue any of that, but I guess if you're very nitpicky and very strict, you could argue that. But what I like is, so on the next play, it's a fourth down in inches, and it's kind of a similar situation. This time, the way the blocking concept essentially works is they're blocking everybody towards the middle of the field, blocking everybody towards the offense's right, basically, and they're just going to leave someone completely unblocked at the second level. They're leaving everyone unblocked at the second level because they don't care about getting a touchdown. They want to get the first down. That's all they care about on a fourth and inches, which makes some sense. So it's essentially going to be a foot race, and I think that White does a much better job this time. Watch how much emphasis he puts on getting the ball quickly and getting the first down quickly. Again, it was a different play, so it's kind of hard to say like he did a better job this time. Maybe that's not the right word, but he learned from what happened last play to improve upon. So that alone, I think, is, is very fascinating, and I would probably say is good. We also have something like this, where what's going to happen here is, I'm just going to pause it because it's a screenplay. You don't need graphics on the screen to figure out how a screenplay works. It's a halfback screen, so that's what's going to happen on this play. And as you see, right when this play begins, so, okay, uh, you know, little flip to White there. And now for White, what do you do? Well, again, well blocked by the Raiders. That's good. I mean, it, you like it better when the first team was blocking well against the Jaguars' first team, or at least close to the Jaguars' first team. Now that a second team on second team, you care less. But still, uh, hey, uh, maybe you have depth. That's never a bad thing. But back to White and what you want White to do, you want White to, very similar to that first play, if things are going well, take advantage of that. If the blocking concept is going well for you, if this screenplay is doing, it's going good for you, make sure that you take full advantage of that. And as you see, I think he did do that. The blocking was good, but he got as many yards as possible from that blocking concept. Whether the blocking is only going to get you two yards and you make turn it into five, or the blocking is going to get you 15 yards and you turn it into 18, you're still adding value by doing that. That is the running back's value, and I thought that White did a very good job of doing that. As for the receiving game, there was some good and there was some bad, and starting off with this play, this would, to me, consider a good play, where he's going to chip an edge rusher, but then get out and just sort of hang out as a check down route. If nothing else is open downfield, quarterback hits him, try to pick up some yards. Right when this play begins, you see that he does, you know, really nothing in the uh, chip aspect where he 
chip, just so you know, is where he's supposed to block an edge rusher a little bit, help out your tackle. He did not do that at all, which, okay, fine. Didn't really need to, though, because the tackle was doing a fine job, so uh, at least at that point. So uh, I'm not concerned about that too much. But at this point, he gets his head turned around and is in position to catch the ball and try to run with and get as many yards as possible. As you see, I think he does a good job at you know, making the catch and doing a good job in open space to nearly get the first down. Couldn't quite get the first down, but got eight yards on a second and nine, and I think got more yards than the average halfback would have there. So again, I would consider a good play. Uh, some of these plays aren't necessarily, like he, he's not looking like Marshawn Lynch out there, all right, but you know what? I'm not expecting him to. It's still good stuff in my opinion. We also have stuff like this where what's going to happen here is it's going to be the exact same play. So same situation, but something very different is going to happen here, at least at a certain point, not at the beginning. The beginning is going to be the same. Look, goes out, kind of chips, but you don't really notice him even you know, hitting anybody, so that was weird. But now he is uh, in a check down situation. But this is where things get like odd, and this is where he just does not do something that you fundamentally should do, where he has his head turned around. And at this point, keep your head turned around. Stay there. That's what you have to do. Look towards the quarterback. This play has gone on for long enough that, you know, you don't have time to try anything else. But I think he wants to kind of get a little bit more towards the outside, which in college, you might have time for that. In the NFL, quarterback has to get rid of the ball quickly. Look, he kind of spins, and by the time he spins, he wasn't ready for the ball. The ball was kind of coming as the time, right when he saw it, and he didn't have en enough time to adjust and make the grab. Had he just stayed there, he would have had enough time to adjust, and he would have caught the ball. So, you know, uh, that's kind of a, it's a drop pass, which can be very fluky, but it was a drop pass set up by a bit of a mental mistake and kind of a fluky play in general. Definitely not a big deal, but something I'm sure that the Raiders will try and clean up. Listen, I get it. The guy was a fourth round pick. So maybe some people aren't going to be sitting here and saying, oh, he's going to be a superstar. But listen, fourth round pick running backs is a, a smarter decision than drafting someone in the first round because they have very similar value uh, as the guys who were drafted in the first round. Uh, but B, I think that, you know, it, they uh, make an impact right away. There's very, uh, you know, little times that a running back like takes a couple years to develop. Typically, you're either good right away or you're not good right away. So, uh, I thought he played well in the preseason, showed some flashes, was exciting, certainly, at the very least, and that, that's what the preseason is all about, right? It's about excitement, it's about telling yourself that every player is about to be the next best player, and I thought that he played well. So, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.